Hello there Spybot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team Spybot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our new series of Spybot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be upgrading your Spybot license as an existing licensed user. Okay, so welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Spybot license as an existing user. This will show you how to download and install a new license if you have purchased a new edition or have renewed your existing license. I'm here set up on a Windows 10 64-bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is to open up the SpyBot Start Center. So if you right click on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon, then choose Run as Administrator. Then select Yes when prompted by the user account control to launch the Start Center. Then wait for the Start Center to load. Once the Start Center is loaded, we can see that we currently have the Home Edition installed. Today we are going to upgrade the Home Edition to Professional Edition. If we then click into the License Overview feature, we can see our currently installed license. We see that it says Your License is a Home Edition license. And we can see the comparison matrix between the free, home and professional editions of SpyBot. If we click into the Your License tab, we can view the details of the currently installed license. Here it should list the edition. In this case it is a Home Edition. It should give your registered name, which is the name you used when you purchased your license. In this example it is blank. Here it also shows the number of PCs that you are allowed to use with a SpyBot plus antivirus license. And it will also show the purchase date and expiry date of your license. You can then click OK to close this window. So next we are going to go to the email account that we used when we made our purchase of SpyBot plus antivirus. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a Gmail account, which I have previously opened in Microsoft Edge. So please go to the email account that you used when you made your purchase of SpyBot Plus Antivirus. You should see an email from noreply at spybot.info, which contains the download details for your SpyBot license. So please click into the email from noreply at spybot.info, where you should see, thank you for your payment for SpyBot 2 Professional Edition. This email contains the download details for your registered licensed version. You can download the installer by clicking on the following web address. So please double click on the link to download the SpyBot license installer. You should be prompted by your browser which should ask you what do you want to do with the SpyBot2License.exe file, which is the SpyBot license installer. We are going to click on save to download the installer. If you are unable to download the file due to a message from Microsoft Edge's smart screen filter, you can disable the smart screen filter temporarily to allow you to download the file. To do this, click on the three dots under the X in the top right corner of Microsoft Edge, then go to Settings. Scroll down to View Advanced Settings, then scroll down to where it says Help protect my PC from malicious sites and downloads with Smart Screen Filter. Here you can disable the Smart Screen Filter, then try to download the file again. For more information about disabling the Smart Screen Filter, you can view the link in the description below which will give you instructions on how to turn off the smart screen filter. If you have any other installed antivirus programs running real-time protection, it is recommended to temporarily disable them as they could also prevent the installer from downloading correctly. Once the download is finished, we can then launch the installer by clicking Run. We then see a prompt from the user account control asking whether or not we would like to launch the SpyBot license installer, to which we will click Yes. We then see the Select Setup Language window which allows us to select the language we want to use during the installation of SpyBot Plus Antivirus. I'm going to minimize my browser. The following languages are available during the SpyBot installation of SpyBot Plus Antivirus. German, English, French, Italian and Russian. We are going to select English and select OK to begin the setup wizard. We then see the welcome window which says welcome to the SpyBot search and destroy setup wizard. This will install license files for SpyBot Search and Destroy on your computer. This window should list the details of your SpyBot license. It should display the edition. In this case, it is a professional edition of SpyBot Search and Destroy. It should also show the licensee, which should give the name you used when you made your purchase of SpyBot Plus Antivirus. In this case, this is left blank. It should also show the number of PCs or computers that you're allowed to use with a SpyBot Plus Antivirus license and it would also list the expiry date of your license, as every SpyBot license lasts for one year. Click Next to continue with the setup wizard. The next window we see is the Select Destination Location window, which is asking where we would like to install our SpyBot Plus Antivirus license. 
Here you need to select the directory where SpyBot is currently installed so that your license files can be added to the installation of SpyBot. We're going to stick with the default option which is the SpyBot program files folder on your C drive. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see says existing license. Another license was detected. We found an already existing license on your system. It then gives a comparison of the two licenses. On the left we have the license that is about to be installed. In this case it is a SpyBot Professional Edition license for two PCs. And on the right we have the current license that is already installed on your system. In this case it is a SpyBot Home Edition licensed for one PC. We then have the option to choose which license we would like to use. We can install the new license or we can keep the existing license. We are going to select install new license to install the professional edition of SpyBot plus antivirus. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the installation check window which is checking to see whether a current installation of SpyBot is present on your computer. An existing installation was found in C program files SpyBot search and destroy. So your license files will be added to the SpyBot folder to activate all of the features of your license edition of SpyBot plus antivirus. Click next to continue with the setup. We now see that the setup has finished installing SpyBot Search and Destroy. Click finish to exit the setup. Now to confirm that your SpyBot license has been installed correctly, we can reopen the SpyBot Start Center. If the Start Center was already open before you had finished installing your license, please close the window and reopen it again. You can reopen the SpyBot Start Center by right clicking on the SpyBot desktop icon and choose Run as Administrator. Then select Yes when prompted by the user account control to launch the SpyBot Start Center. Once the Start Center is opened, if we maximize the Start Center window to give us a better view, we can now see in the top left corner that it says the Professional Edition where it once said Home Edition. We can then click into where it says Professional Edition and we now see that in the comparison matrix where it says your license we are listed as a professional edition user. We can also click on the your license tab which will give us more information about our installed license. It says where it will list the edition, in this case professional edition, the name given when you made your purchase of SpyBot as well as the number of computers you can use with a SpyBot plus antivirus license and it will show the creation and expiration date of your license. So now that we have confirmed that our license has been installed correctly, we can close the license overview by pressing OK. We can also close the SpyBot Start Center to conclude today's video tutorial. So that's it for today's video on upgrading your SpyBot license as an existing licensed user. Thank you very much for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending us an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page on the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, and keep on destroying. See you guys soon.